Christy. 31 years ago, I met the most amazing man who would probably be the biggest influence in my life, and that is my dad. I could stand up here all day and tell you lots of reasons why I love my dad. Every day there's a new reason why I love him, but three of the main reasons that I respect him and he's my significant person is he's hardworking, he'd do anything for anybody and expect nothing in return, and he's family oriented. Some examples of how hardworking he is, from the time I've been little I remember my dad always working. They were low paying jobs, they were in a mill, he didn't graduate high school, but he always worked. From the time I was little it seemed like my dad was never home. We went to school during the day, he was asleep, when we got home from school he was gone to work. I never saw him except for on the weekends. There was times when my dad would come home on the weekends and my mom would be pulling her hair out saying, you've got to do something with these girls, that they, be, they need a spank and they've been horrible, do something. And he'd say, how can I discipline them when I never see them? I don't think my dad never disciplined us when we were little. He always worked and provided for us as a family. And at 52 years old, I wish I would have brought my pictures, I forgot them. He bought his first thing for himself, he got a Harley. And now he can do what he loves because he's raised us kids. Second reason is he'd do anything for anybody and he expects nothing in return. I've never met a person with as many friends as my dad. I believe the reason is, is he'd do anything for anybody. He could live in his home and it could fall down around him because he's too busy doing things for other people. And he won't take anything for it. There's times where you walk out on the porch and there'll be presents or things sitting there from people for jobs he's done and refuse to take anything. The third reason is he's family oriented. His family is always and still is number one. He has two daughters and uh, both of us are single moms. I have three kids, three girls, and they're his life. He'd do anything for them just like he did anything for us as kids. At the school, there's a father-daughter dance every year. And of course, I have girls. And so, needless to say, he'd show up, suit, tie, corsages in, hands, in his hands, and he did the father-daughter dance. This here is my five-year-old last year. It was a 50s thing. And you see him in his pants rolled up with his white t-shirt on doing the father-daughter dance. Um, a couple years ago, his friend's son died and left behind a little girl, a grandchild. And uh, the father-daughter dance rolled around and she had nobody to take her to the father-daughter dance. So needless to say, my dad showed up on her doorstep suit, tie, and corsage, and took her to the father-daughter dance. He would have never let her not go. These here are just three reasons. I can tell you I love my dad. I could stand up here all day long and give you examples. I guess you could say I'm daddy's little girl. Thank you.